Welcome to our broadcast here on the official YouTube page of South Metro Sports. We have three hockey games here this Saturday afternoon. Our first of two high school games will feature the 19-6 Alter Knights taking on the 29-12 Northern Kentucky Norse. Great battle here of Cincinnati versus Dayton. Lee W. Mound, what the call for you this afternoon. Thanks for joining us this Sunday. As a Saturday afternoon, our first high school game is the Alter Knights taking on the Northern Kentucky Norse. Justin Clark will get the start in net for the Alter Knights. Comes in with a save percentage of 90.5 percent, a goals allows average of 2.84 in his 10 league games, 330 minutes in the Southwest Ohio High School Hockey League. He'll stretch down low. Justin Clark patrols the pipes tonight for Alter, and on the other side for Northern Kentucky, it's Terry Bora. He'll protect the pies for Norfolk, Kentucky. They're in the black jerseys heading up the stream and Alter heading down the stream as we begin our first game today. And it winds up in Kyle Taylor's grasp. He'll sling it towards the far corner where Alter's will send a couple of knights around that way. Shell Johnson on the chase as Luke Dinkins now back out for Grant Grunder. In the neutral zone, tossed to Bora. Hill directed in the near corner as Taylor comes up with it for Northern Kentucky. Sent forward into the alter defense. Jack Augustine will chase it back. 14-22 to go in the first period. No score. And the end boards, here's Dinkins, covered up by Kyle Taylor of the Norse. In the slot, no one there for Northern Kentucky to bat it in, racing for it was Joshua Rossell, who has 47 goals in his many games with the Norse. 47 goals, 21 assists. One of the predominant offensive leaders for this Northern Kentucky club. 13.49 to go in the first period. No score. Jack Augustine in his own zone for Alter. Slings it for Dinkins. Gets it off the elbow of a stick. He'll U-turn around being pressured by Parker Smith, who leads the Norse with 58 goals on the year and 39 assists. He'll take it towards Justin Clark. This Northern Kentucky program, a club featuring high school 
players that do not have a hockey team to call their own around the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. Slung towards the near corner, picked up by the Norse, and here comes Alter. 13-13 to go in the first. No score here from South Metro Sports. You're watching live on the official South Metro Sports YouTube page. Now back for Alter, near wing, zipping through. Jersey caught in the breeze. He'll avoid an incoming Norse. Tripped down by a second one. That's Lucas Rabelais. One of the bright and shiny stars on this very successful Alter team. Like I mentioned, 19 and 6 on the year, 8 and 2 in the Gold Division. And the top team in the Southwest Ohio High School Hockey League in the Gold Division will go up to the red after this season. Eric Prayson takes it over for Alter. Blocked and kept in by Justin Brown of the Norse. 12-17 to go on the first. No score. Back to Alter. Bouncing off the near boards. Racing towards the goalie. Balra started to come out of his crease. Well, make a down low catch on the loose puck. There's Jake Goldberg nearby providing defense. No score with 12.07 to go in the first. Alter taking on Norfolk, Kentucky. Joshua Rossell for the faceoff. Back to Jake Goldberg. Recovered by Alter by the blue, Eric Prayson. Back the way is Rebelay. He'll sling it high in the air. Hits off the fist of Donnelly. Swept away by a Ty Borton. <coughs> and Jake Goldberg comes back up with it for the Norse. No icing. 11.40 to go in the first. Nothing, nothing game. Neutral zone time. Picked up by Goldberg. Slung on the near boards, drops it to the near corner. Waiting at the far point is Drew Jansen. We saw this Northern Kentucky team with the Centerville Elks in the Miami Valley Freeze Tournament. Second place team, here's a shot. And Justin Clark slides forward out of this crease. Makes a nice deflection. A swing and a miss on the attempt by Ben Hale. Picked up by Alter from behind their goal line. And going golfing, opposite corner. That'll be icing on the Knights with 11.06 to go in the first. And we are in a scoreless affair. Lots of hockey to be played this afternoon. Cincinnati Thunder junior hockey team playing next at 445. They're taking on the Evansville Junior Thunderbolts who are watching this game behind the near corner of the Knights offense. Scooped up by Kyle Taylor, one of the starting members of the Norse. Comes up, picks up the loose puck. Now drags it out, goes towards his right. Looks to connect up ahead with Cameron Webb. Behind the goal line, Webb and the Knight combined together. Augustine got the hook first. Here's a high shot. And I'll go behind the cage of Justin Clark. 10.32 to go in the first period. Nothing, nothing game. Slipping away from a Norse. Also a Knight coming in for the loose puck. Andrew Tracy, he slips out of the neutral zone. And back to Norfolk, Kentucky in their own zone. That slips out of the reach of Evan Ogilvy. Now the Knights, Grant Grunder. Pushing it forward in front of the Norfolk, Kentucky bench. No one there to help him out on that side of things. Picked up by Benjamin Glavin. Bat it backwards. Eric Prayson back in his attacking zone. Alter heading down the ice. Right-hander towards the near corner. Slow down by Theron Bora. His backup is Jackson Maddy. Maddy a little shorter in the pipes. It doesn't matter as long as you keep the puck out of the back of the net. Luke Dinkins comes up with a loose puck for Alter. 9.36 to go in the first period. Nothing, nothing game. Far boards heading towards the corner. Icing on Alter, bringing it back in front of Justin Clark. Clark's backup is Sigurd Peterson. Both goalies enjoying a good year. And the goalie tandem of the Knights combined in league play with a goals allows average just slightly over three. 
So score between the Northern Kentucky Norse and the Alter Knights. Of course, Alter High School, a private high school in Kettering off of East David Road. Popped up top of a night stick, recovered defensively by the Norse. And Trey Kincaid from the far corner, swept around. Rossell connects up top, looking for Ryan Huseman. Huseman knocks the night down. Continues to roll the puck from the near faceoff circle. Alter picks it back up. Under nine to play in the first period, no score. Bouncing off Clark, picked up neutral zone. Going for Trey Kincaid. Knight's back with it. And a quick whistle. From the stripes on the far side, it is offside on the Norse. And we'll drop it in the neutral zone with 8.43 to go in the first period here in the home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. I believe that's Parker Smith for the Norse faceoff. Covered again by Alter. I believe the Knights brought some of their pep band members. See a couple of drums. You might see a saxophone. James Donnelly on the chase for the loose puck. Back their way, Evan Ogilvie. Trying to connect with Parker Smith, racing on the right wing. Pass sails out of his reach. And it's icing on the Norse. With 8.23 to go in the first period, Northern Kentucky and Alter scoreless here from South Metro Sports. Alter part of the nine-team Southwest Ohio High School Hockey League. Northern Kentucky also listed amongst the Ohio high school hockey rankings and the Norse. Well, the 29 and 12 record actually rank 43rd. And that's over 100 teams in my hockey rankings. Far face off circle, trying to cane around his defender was Joe Hammerly. He'll lose it on his twist towards the left. And defensively picked up by Eric Prayson. <coughs> Bouncing the board in the referee crease. Straight ahead looking for Hammerly. Looks like a penalty has been called from the stripes. Point over towards the left. It's elbowing the call from the referee. And Northern Kentucky will be the first team in the sin bin with 7.48 to go in the first. And nothing, nothing game. Alter, five on four, face off in the neutral zone, now being pushed in front of Theron Bora. Looks like that's Hooper for the face off for the Norse. Far corner, Northern Kentucky quickly on the trigger, clear, and racing towards Justin Clark, the alter goalie in the back the other way. Rebele has a pinball between his skates, still manages to hold on to the puck. Very smooth work by the alter defender. Hammerley goes back towards the right. Far point slipping away from Joe Hammerley. And swept away, Evan Ogilvie. Down the far boards into the corner. Luke Dinkins is going to be the last one to touch it for the Knights. 121 to go on the five on four power play for Alter. No score with 705 to go in the first. Hammerley trying to poke his way past two Norse defensemen in the far corner, sending it that way. Rebele. Now controlled for Hammerley. Wing, there's Andrew Tracy by the slot. Gavin in front of him. Lavin will clear it away from Tracy. And picked up in the neutral zone by Luke Dinkins. 6.37 to go in the first period. No score, 47 seconds left. Here comes a blast from the far point. Saved by Balra. He kicks it over with his left leg pad. Covered again by Alter. Hammerly looking for some help behind. Two tries for Rossell. And recovered back into the attacking zone goes Dinkins in the slot. Sends it wide left. Picked up far corner, Dinkins with Goldberg tailing him. Back to Alter, 20 seconds left on the Knights' first five on four in the game. 6.04 to go in the first period. Nothing, nothing. 
Neutral zone to Parker Smith. 12 seconds left on the shorthander for Northern Kentucky. Stripped away from Smith. <coughs> Batted down into the neutral zone. And the Norse have killed off the first power play of the game. Parker Smith slings over towards his left. Pushed from behind by Joe Hammerly. Neutral zone set up for John Hooper. Hooper with a couple of S curves towards the far face off circle. Looking back towards the slot, Alter's defense comes up with it. Left wing time for the Knights. Just out of the grass of Hammerly. Near corner, icing on Alter. 5.19 to go in the first period. Nothing, nothing game here from South Metro Sports. A good start to our contest today. Good club in Norfolk, Kentucky. Also a good high school team in the Alter Knights. One of three high schools to call South Metro home. Springboro will play later tonight. And Centerville's on the road. That's your three teams here at SMS. Picked up by Eric Prayson of Alter with 5.10 to go in the first period. Norfolk, Kentucky back on the attack. That shot rolls off the back of Jack Augustine. Prayson now behind the goal line. Goes near corner, offering a stick. Kyle Taylor, he'll keep it in for the Norse. Rossell now near point, sends a rainbow over the glove of Justin Clark and his net. Augustine, 440 to go in the first. Nothing, nothing game. Back, Ben Hale. Rossell can't quite get the loose puck. Kincaid twists his stick around and goes towards his right. I believe that's Jacob Detweiler with the puck. He'll race towards the side of the cage. Off of Clark and through into the goal mouth for the first goal of the game. Norfolk, Kentucky takes a 1-0 lead with 4.20 to go in the first period. Good action there by Norfolk, Kentucky going towards Clark. Slip it through the five hole. And there are strike first. One nothing in favor of the visiting Northern Kentucky Norseman. Parker Smith with the face off for Northern Kentucky. And picked up by Alter Eric Prayson. Prayson again with it. Down the right boards towards the corner. It's deflected. Kincaid. Slips it past Hammerly, controlled now by Evan Ogilvie. Out of the reach of Justin Brown. He'll sling his way towards the far face off circle, looking to add on this one nothing Norse lead. Far point, Taylor twists around, can't strip it away from Ty Borton. It's picked up by Northern Kentucky, out of the neutral zone, going top shelf over Clark. And back amongst the near boards for the Norse, 3.38 to go in the first period. Shot blocked, picked back up, and Justin Brown unable to hold on to it as he was sliding out of the slot. And now here's Alter, spaced out two on two. A couple of wiggles for the Knights. In the slot, tie game! Tie game in the slot, great pass from Lucas Rebole. And we are squared away at one with 3.21 to go in the first period. Knights tie the game at one. Great pass down the middle, a spaced out two on two. Getting around the first defender. And crashing towards Bora. And we're squared away at one, two. Quick goals by these squads. Alter looking for another one. Here's Hammerly, knocked down. He'll draw the arm of the ref. And a penalty going against Northern Kentucky. That should be a tripping penalty, possibly a hook. It's a slash. It's a two-minute minor on the way for Jake Goldberg. And Alter 0 for 1 on the power plays thus far. Goes back on a 5-on-4 advantage after tying the game with 3.09 to go in the first period here from South Metro Sports. You're watching on the official South Metro Sports YouTube page. Near point time for Dinkins. <coughs> He'll try a laser or a shot. Theron Bora comes up with a low catch. 
And five seconds gone from the second alter power play. 3.03 to go in the first. We're tied up at one. Hooper squares off against Hammerley for this faceoff. Picked up by an alter knight, slashing through Eric Prayson, trying to poke it gently. Zamboni corner, Hammerley twist with two Norsemen trailing him. Second knight in Rebele comes up with a puck. Caught at the far point by Alter. Augustine. Back to Augustine in front of the Norse bench. Going for Hammerley between two knights. Far face-off circle. Rebele, far corner. Brings it back out. Here's a shot. Bo rub with a slap. And it'll direct it wide left. And picked up by Hooper. Gets it only past the blue line. Salter doing a better job with puck security in this second power play. Tied up at one with two and a quarter to go in the first. Rebele to Hammerly, far face off circle. Hammerly trailed by a Norseman in Evan Ogilvy. Nice defense. Kept in by Alter and kicked by Augustine, but he can't slow it down enough. And it's back in Alter's own zone. They'll have to recoup with 1.55 to go in the first. And a tie game at one. Zamboni corner, Drew Jansen comes up with it. Back behind the cage of Clark. Sent towards the left wing, slow down, and pick back up on the takeaway. Hammerley cleaning up from Dinkins. And now Parker Smith has it. He'll zig, he'll zag, and you turn around back in the neutral zone to burn as much time he can left in this power play. 10 seconds left. 1.17 to go in the opening period. A tie game at one. Knights take a little bit slow as Alter falls 0 for 2 on the power play. Northern Kentucky yet to go on one. Fresh out of the box, racing forward is Hooper as Goldberg went back to the bench. Hooper shot, blocked off the left blocking side of Clark. Last minute of the first period, down low, redeflected in. Kyle Taylor had the initial feed. And it's tipped in past Clark to his right. And Norfolk, Kentucky goes back on top, 2-1 to one with 53.4 seconds to go in the first period. <coughs> Rossell now takes his face off for Norfolk, Kentucky. I believe that's Ty Borton for Alter. Picked up by the Norse, Hooper, golfs it far corner. 45 seconds left in the first period. Hooper comes in, towers over the Alter Knight. Behind him, believe that's Ben Hale. Set behind the cage of Clark. Looking to clean up is Chris Fox, possibly Cameron Webb. Sent towards the slot, Alter intercepts it with 30 seconds to go in the first. Still fending off a Norse attack after reclaiming a one goal lead. There's a shot, bounced in as Clark had the initial stop. Falls right in front of a Northern Kentucky Norseman. Kylo Taylor might have had that goal. And the Norse go up, their biggest lead of the game, three to one with 22.3 seconds to go in the first. <laughs> Taylor with the assist on the second goal. If he gets credit for that goal, past Clark. And the Knights trail by two, three to one. Now with 16 seconds to go in the first. Out of the reach of James Donnelly. Behind the goal line it goes. Taylor for the Norse. Eight seconds, kept in by Borton. And the puck, now Joshua Rossell leads it up. Hooper behind him, slips the pass behind his back. And that's the first 15 minutes of the game. Nova Kentucky draws first blood, Alter ties it, and then the Norse add two. And after the first period, Nova Kentucky Norse three and the Alter Knights one here on the home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. We'll take a quick breather and come back for the second.
this is YouTube. Um, search for this. It's easier to see. It's just easier to make a search for that. It's done. Entering the second period, Alter Knights trailing the Northern Kentucky Norse three to one. It's the Norse with two straight goals. They drew first blood before Alter tied the game up. And now the Norse going down the stream against Alter, who is going up the stream. Now the Norse in the neutral zone racing for it. Popped off the stick of a knight heading towards the slot. Here comes Clark with loose puck recovery. Swooping on in was Ogilvy. And with 14.44 to go in the second, a 3-1 Norse lead of a faceoff to the right of Clark as Hammerley comes in against Parker Smith. And Hammerley wins the faceoff for the Knights. Two quick goals for Northern Kentucky to close out that first period as Alter tied it up about 30 to 45 seconds after Northern Kentucky drew the first blood. As Borton now trying to connect with Andrew Tracy up ahead. Here's a nice curve. Ogilvy towards the slot. Blocked. Webb in front. Also with Rebele behind him. The two Norse defensemen prepare for Tracy. His pass swiped in the middle. Parker Smith had a good stick on it. Clark left hand up. Back in his crease as Northern Kentucky's Goldberg looks to set up deep in the slot. And that bat just goes wide from Cameron Webb. Rebele now leads the attack as Borton can't get that high bounce pass. Trey Kincaid back for Northern Kentucky. 13.50 to go in the second. 3-1 to one Norse over the Alter Knights here on the official YouTube page of South Metro Sports. Rebele now starting to skate backwards as Northern Kentucky goes down the stream. Here's Webb, the shot saved down low by Clark. Augustine shoved in the end boards. And Alter comes away if it's some open ice to work with for Borton and company. Borton now near faceoff circle, drops it down low, and Bora has it. <coughs> Aaron Bora, a shot down low, made the initial stop, and then pounced on the loose puck to avoid any incoming Alter attacks. 13.22 to go in the second, three to one for Northern Kentucky. Hammerley will take this face off of the Knights, his attacking zone. Norfolk, Kentucky comes up with it. They'll take the left wing as they storm down into the neutral zone, slipping away past two alter defensemen, Eric Prayson that time. Off Prayson's stick, Hooper trying to bat it back for Rossell on the front line. 13.02 to go in the second, three to one Norfolk, Kentucky. Near point, Rossell slows it down, back to the corner, and picked up by Rebele. Try to go for Borton, who is intercepted right in front. Roselle, nice job reading into that pass. There's Hooper batted by Hughesman, and he can't quite get the power through. Hits off a stick and rolls behind. A one-on-one -on -one tangle in the far corner. Rescued by Nova Kentucky in the near corner. And now the North springing out of their own zone, out of the neutral zone. A one-on-two. Norseman gets chowed down. Dinkins back on the defense without a stick. He'll pick it back up. Northern Kentucky's two blue line men off of Clark. Scooped away towards the right by Eric Prayson. The shot blocked. Hammerly took that off his ankles. He's got the loose puck. Goes for Borton. Borton takes the left wing. Drops it amongst the corner. Dinkins waits for it to come to him. And almost taken away by Northern Kentucky. Now batted the other way by the Norse. 12 minutes to go in the second. 3-1 to one, Northern Kentucky. Norse outscoring the Knights. 3-1. to one. Two unanswered goals shot at the gut of Clark. And Hooper looks towards the rafters. And we'll have a face off in front of the Ulta goalie with 11.50 to go in the second. Three to one for Northern Kentucky. And a face off awaits us to the left of Clark. As Smith leans in against Andrew Tracy this time. Back to the corner. 
Far boards. Looks like Borton now helped up with a second night. Two Norsemen crashing in. Far point send in, off of Clark and off to the protective net where a plinko its way down in front of one of the glass supports. And almost ripped down. Nice reach. Justin Brown. Tall Norsemen occupy this Northern Kentucky team. 11.32 to go in the second. 3-1 Northern Kentucky. Smith leans in against Tracy for the faceoff. Recovered by Alter in their own zone. Picking it up is Ben Hale taking the left wing. Nice movements by Hale trying to turn around Parker Smith. Rides the defense with his hands amongst the boards. And back with it, Drew jams in behind his goal line. There's Northern Kentucky trying to split two up front. Nice job by Augustine. Now Prayson coming up a loose puck, jamming up Justin Brown. Makes a right hand slant. And off the protective net, falling down onto the ice. Brown's toss, and they would be caught by one of the referees. So we'll face off away. So 10.59 to go in the second, and Northern Kentucky up 3 to 1 here. A good club team, Northern Kentucky. Representatives from the northern part of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, also around the Cincinnati area. Last time we've seen the Norse, again, for myself, it was the Miami Valley Freeze Tournament. Shot at Clark, bounced back in the slot, kicked around, loose puck swept behind the cage by Rossell. He'll look to get the loose puck back in front of the Zamboni doors. Far point time, five on five hockey, 10 and three quarters left to go in the second. Three to one, Northern Kentucky. Hooper now finds Rossell behind the cage of Clark. Here's a one-timer Hooper, loose puck, redirected the other way, looking for the loose remains. That time was Chris Fox. Fox helping out Rossell back amongst the Zamboni doors. Rossell reaching for it, Hammerly slips it down, passed out of the neutral zone, kept in by Northern Kentucky, right to a night. Grant Grunder that time. 10.07 to go in the second. 3 to 1, Northern Kentucky over Alter. Now on the left wing, heading towards the far face off circle is Fox. Jammed up the puck with Lucas Rebelay chasing. Leaning down low, heading towards the center defenseman, Trey Kincaid. Bounce back as the Norse. Great puck control in this second period. No goals to show for it, but lots of attacks on Justin Clark. As on the other side, Theron Bora. A lot of action there is a bounce in for Chris Fox. Gets it right to him and tips it past Justin Clark. And the Northern Kentucky Norse go up 4-1 with 933 to go in the second period. Chris Fox deep in front of Clark. Left hand side. We'll have a face off with Andrew Tracy for the Knights. Recovered by Alter. First goal of the second period goes to Northern Kentucky. Here's Parker Smith, far face off circle, off the right shoulder of Justin Clark and off the protective net. And we'll have a face off in front of Alter's goalie with 9.22 to go in the second. The Knights. <laughs> Now been outscored three unanswered by Nova Kentucky with two late ones in the first and one in the second. In front of Clark, here's Luke Dinkins. Chased by Cameron Webb. Webb gives him a shoulder blast. Picked up by Nova Kentucky again. Ogilvy this time. Evan Ogilvy. And loose puck just out of the reach of Ben Hale. He will make a good chase for it. Back to Prayson now. Three nights in their own zone. Nine minutes to go in the second. Now four to one. Nova Kentucky turnover in the neutral zone. Picking up that pass. Parker Smith. Rebelay staying on him defensively. And a stick. Blast the puck into the protective net. 8.54 to go in the second and a 4-1 Northern Kentucky lead. Andrew Tracy taking this face off. Dinkins trying to sweep the loose puck away from the Norse. 
back in their own zone. Lucas Rebelay goes for Dinkins, the 888 rally. Now towards the right side, Tracy will play it on the bounce in front of Ben Hale, recovered by the Norse. And now here's Dinkins with a nice interception. He'll have a shot about the heart level of Theron Bora. And it's the Northern Kentucky goalie with a save with eight and a half to go in the second. Four to one for Northern Kentucky. Now we'll have a face off to the right of Bora. He's back up in Jackson Maddie. Alter's back up is Sigurd Peterson today. Battle of Cincinnati versus Dayton. Northern Kentucky, of course, from the Commonwealth of Kentucky, but in the Cincinnati area. A lot of Cincinnatians on this Norse team. A couple fans that I was talking to in Troy the last week of December, some of them wearing Anderson Redskins gear, and that's around the southern portion of the state. Very nice area, too, actually. As Hammerly now sweeps in around the right corner, one-on-one -on -one tangle. Here comes a tall Norseman looking for the loose puck. It's a three-on-one battle, mostly black and red in the far corner. Coming up with it is Northern Kentucky. They'll go down the stream, but a nice defensive cut by Eric Prayson. He'll twist and tangle around Hooper, who does an even nicer job staying with it. Hooper diving back with it. 7.47 to go in the second. Four to one for Northern Kentucky. This is the youth hockey program of the Norse. No affiliation with Northern Kentucky University and the Norse NCAA Division I programs. NKU without hockey, club, or likewise. And a long whistle from the Stripes. And it looks like that's a hand pass rule against Northern Kentucky. Norse lead 4-1, to one, three unanswered goals for the Norsemen with 7.27 to go in the second here from South Metro Sports. Lee W. Mound with you here. The official YouTube page of South Metro Sports bringing a lot of sports, a lot of streams coming up, a lot of good things here. Definitely hope you join us for everything. Hand pass on Norfolk, Kentucky brings it back in their own zone as Alter leans in. And drop Joe Hammerly taking that face off. Augustine with a cleanup job at the far point. Two Norse coming against the puck carrier and pick it away. But a nice job staying with it. Joe Hammerly staying low against Parker Smith. Comes up with it. He'll try a shot. He was surrounded by a ship of Norse. And it's a save down low by Bora. He was quadruple teamed, if you will. Kept in defensively in the neutral zone by Jack Augustine. 6.54 to go in the second. 4-1 for Northern Kentucky. Off the far boards. Out of the reach of Michelle Johnston. She'll race for it. And sent in forward by the Norse. Picked up Ogilvy. You know, back one for Parker Smith. He'll slip past Augustine with ease with the puck. A two-on-one. Parker Smith takes it and passes it and finds Justin Brown. And the Norse now lead 5-1. to one. A great two-on-one. Parker Smith showing extreme patience. So he takes it all the way near the post. Fires off a last-second pass, finding Justin Brown with Justin Clark sliding over towards his right. And it is Justin Brown with the Norse goal. For an answer now by Norfolk, Kentucky, as they lead 5-1 to one with 6.26 to go in the second period. Looking for one more. Here's some nice moves by Roselle. Shoots it wide and deflected. Back for Hooper. He looks around in the slot. Waiting for it is Chris Fox. He'll backtrack towards the near faceoff circle. Dinkins had the loose puck. Bats it towards his left. Fox acting as a screen. To the end boards, Rebele on top of it for Alter. To back for Eric Prayson. 5.55 to go in the second. 5-1, to one, Northern Kentucky over Alter. <coughs> Near point keep in by Andrew Tracy. Corner squeeze. Dinkins watches the loose puck. Pop in front, takes it towards the slot, directed away by Northern Kentucky. Norse take it on the near boards, send it towards open ice. Referee crease keep in now by Alters Lucas Rebele. 
5.28 to go in the second. 5-1 to one, Northern Kentucky. Norse looking for their 30th win on the year. Currently 29-12 according to MyHockeyRankings.com. And Alter 19-6. and 8-2 in their league, the Southwest Ohio High School Hockey League. Alter having quite the good year. Northern Kentucky, another successful year for the club. Fox backhands one, looks to connect with Rosell, just out of his reach. Rebele on top of it. Back to Hooper. He'll hit off the post. Captain Hooper thought he slid it in, but what a nice job. Justin Clark that time lands his back firmly down the ice, keeps it out. Two close calls for Northern Kentucky as Rebele sets it up. Hooper's coming in, looking for the loose puck. A whiff by Rebele. So take the left wing now and drive against the current of the Norse. Bat out of the slot. Prayson on the red line. Leans forward and drops it in the near corner. Drew Jansen back with it. Very clean game thus far. Just two penalties on Northern Kentucky. And Alter 0 for 2 on power plays. 4.13 to go in the second. 5-1 to one, Northern Kentucky. Four an answer by the Norse after Alter managed to tie the game at one. In the slot, kept in. Here's Prayson sending it wide from in front of the blue line. I believe that's Donnelly back out. Dinkins trying to help out with the loose puck. Keeps it up front. Northern Kentucky back on top of it. 3.48 to go in the second. 5-1 to one, Northern Kentucky. It's Parker Smith back in his own near corner. <coughs> Getting help with Taylor. Now near wing, nice handling by Northern Kentucky. Past Augustine, taking it in the far face-off circle. Bat in the slot and score. Chris Fox. Scratch it. Ogilvy looks like he has the goal. Ogilvy twist tangled around. That's now five unanswered by Northern Kentucky, and the Norse take a six-to-one lead with 3:29 to go in the second. Three in the first and three in the second now for Norva, Kentucky. Alter with one in the first. So far, zero in the second. As Clark slides in. And now in the neutral zone, batted in by Ty Borton and the Alter Knights. 6-1 for Norva, Kentucky as the Norse look to add on their total. The only opponent the Norse failed to beat in the freeze tournament. There's a shot at Clark, and he'll hold on for a stop with 3.10 to go in the second, 6-1 to one Norse. The only opponent that Northern Kentucky failed to beat in the Miami Valley freeze tournament was the Finley Trojans. Very solid team. In the top 10, the My Hockey rankings, I believe number 9 now for the Trojans. They'll be here tomorrow afternoon against Centerville, and of course we'll have that call for you here on the Centerville Elks YouTube page. You can get to it from the South Metro Sports YouTube page off the protective net. And we'll bat it in the far corner with 3.01 to go in the second, and Northern Kentucky up 6-1 to one here. Here at South Metro Sports in Centerville, Ohio. Hammerly squaring off with Jake Goldberg. Dons the double zero jersey. Near face off to the corner now. Hooper twist around off the stick of Jack Augustine. Rossell now. His own far corner. Drops into the far point. Out of the reach of Nicholas Hill on the chase defensively. Hooper now. Loose puck sliding towards Clark. And he'll make the stop as Ryan Hughesman was lurking nearby. As you hear the drums out there. Very cool to hear. Students with a uh, couple instruments. Still swear that's a saxophone out there. Haven't heard though, it's been mostly drums, but hey, I, I like drums. Drums are A-OK. -okay. Augustine swings it around the corners now for Hill. Out of the reach of Joe Hammerly. Towards the left, intercepted Hammerly in front of two Norse. He'll score! Hammerly stood between the two Norse defensemen, comes up with a pass that was underpowered and takes the takeaway all the way to the house. And the deficit trimmed down to four. It's Norvig Kentucky six, Alter two. 
Joe Hammerly scores for the Alter Knights. Hammerly first on the team and goals against the conference. 18 goals, 16 assists, 34 points in just 10 games, according to the stats here on the Southwest Ohio High School Hockey League website. 2.10 to go in the second. Nice zigzag by Northern Kentucky, looking to build a new streak, unanswered streak, as Brown scoring one of those five unanswered goals by Northern Kentucky, with under two to play in the second. 6 to 2, Northern Kentucky. Far point, send in off two Knights. Covered now by Parker Smith. Smith looking to join in on the point party for Northern Kentucky in the Norse. Ogilvy standing in front of Clark, and Rebelay pushes him away. A screen remover, if you will. Smith now, Ogilvy waiting the pass. In front of Smith again. This time Eric Prayson will shove him down. There's a shot and Clark comes up with a catch. And Ogilvy is holding out his hand saying, that's gotta be something. And the Stripes, well, they don't agree with Northern Kentucky's number four. Very sneaky by Ogilvy too, standing in front of the goalie, preventing Clark to see his field, you know, in its entirety. Of course, that's, you know, fairly common practice, of course. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, but Ogilvy's very good at that. And Alter was very good to remove that threat. Off the back of Kyle Taylor. And Alter back in their attacking zone. 105 to go in the second. Alter 0 for 2 on the power plays. We have yet to go on a power play in this period. Last minute of the second period starts now. Alter behind the Northern Kentucky goal line. In the slot, Hammerly just sends a little wide. Might have hit off the red post. Racing forward. Drop for Hammerly. Rebelay going near faceoff circle. Hammerly now met up with a Norris. He had a lot of time with the puck all by himself. Going in traffic and over in Kentucky. Had it for a split second. And a loose puck racing forward. Here comes Hooper. Hooper shot. Save by Justin Clark. Great save by the Alter goalie. Hooper tries again. And Hooper will find Roselle bringing up the rear in the slot. And Northern Kentucky now goes up 7-2 with 23.8 seconds to go in the second. A great first stop by Justin Clark as John Hooper raced for loose puck, had it. Went back and got it after that save. And instead of going to the Norths already in the slot, waited for Roselle to come back and carry the back line and fire it on home. As Alter now trails by five, seven to two against the Northern Kentucky Norse with 23.8 seconds to go in the second period. Hammerly leans in for the Alter faceoff. Comes up fit, trying to get past the defenseman. Will keep him parallel. Benjamin Glavin on that assignment. Alter still has it. The arm is up, a delay penalty. Far point, Justin Clark heading towards his bench. Six seconds, five seconds, and 5.5 seconds to go. The referees will signal a trip, and Northern Kentucky will go in the box for the third time today. Glavin, Benjamin Glavin into the box. And Alter on the third power play of the game. 0 for 2 thus far. Five and a half seconds to go in the second. Alter doesn't score quick. They will have plenty of time to start this third period off with a power play. Face off controlled by the Knights. Two seconds left heading towards the goalie shot. Hits off high. And that will do it for 30 minutes. Northern Kentucky puts four in the second period. And they will lead the Alter Knights after 30 minutes of play. 7 to 2 here on the official home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. And we'll be back after the Zamboni break. Northern Kentucky 7 at Kettering Alter 2.
And welcome back to our contest here in the official home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. Thanks for joining us this Saturday afternoon. We got three games on slate for you this afternoon from South Metro Sports. And two of these games will be on the official home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. As John Hooper and Jackson Maddie just collided. It was kind of a heartwarming moment, I guess. Could be a little miscommunication on skates, but it is Northern Kentucky 7 and Alter 2. And the Knights have a minute 55 on a power play to go. Lee W. Mound with you here this afternoon here on YouTube as Northern Kentucky 3 in the first, 4 in the second. Alter 1 in each period. The Knights 0 for 2 on the power play. And Northern Kentucky yet to go on one. Strong offensive output from the Norse. Give them a five goal lead over the Alter Knights. Both these teams having good years of 2016, 2017. And we're back to the action now with the Knights heading back down the ice and the Norse heading up the stream. As you watch it here on YouTube, now with the correct day and opponents. As it is a battle of Cincinnati versus Dayton, Northern Kentucky. Of course, the northern part of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And the Alter Knights from Kettering, Ohio, a prestigious suburb of Dayton. As the Knights square up for the faceoff, Joe Hammerly. And with 14.55 to go in our third period, the Knights find themselves on the frowny side of the scoreboard. Northern Kentucky leads 7-2. to two. Swept away by Jake Goldberg, goes straight ahead. Picked up by the Knights, cross it up. Nice zigzag move by Dinkins. Hits it on the ankles, however, of Drew Jansen. Rebele controls it for Alter. Back to him. Slips by him in the Zamboni corner. Picks up the loose puck. He's got a couple options towards his left and right. Buck swept away. Here's Dinkins now going for Prayson. Slot time. Hammerly into the stomach of Theron Boa. And a stop by the Norse. Goalie stops the clock at 14-13 to go in the third period. Northern Kentucky leads 7-2 here against the Alter Knights at South Metro Sports. Alter the home team in the white jerseys and the yellow gold shoulder yoke, brown numbers. <coughs> and Northern Kentucky in the black jerseys, red numbers. Shot off the left leg of Bora into the protected net. And we'll drop it again with 14.07 to go in the third. Nova Kentucky drew first blood about halfway through the first. And Alter tied it up within a minute. And then the Norse got two quick goals to close out the first period to take a 3-1 to one lead. Five unanswered goals before Alter would strike again for the Norse. Right now we're sitting at 7-2, Norfolk, Kentucky. Alter with the puck as they're still on the power play for the next 45 seconds. Going for Augustine at the far point. Taylor trying to push out the Knights. Slotman and Prayson. Alter looking to find a way to deliver the package to him. Far face-off circle now for the Knights Hammerly. Rebele, Zamboni corner, guarded by Kincaid. Rebele now going between the points and slipping away from Jack Augustine. A one-on-one -on -one battle. Parker Smith takes it and puts in the shorthander. Parker Smith puts in a shorthander. He'll twist away from the diving alter goalie. And it's now 8-2 Northern Kentucky with 13.21 to go in the third period. And still 16 seconds remain on the power play for the Alter Knights. <coughs> Face-off is Hammerly. He'll take on Joshua Rosell. We have a little bit of play to toss the puck in. Face-off center ice. And now recovered in the neutral zone by 
Halter. Swing on the far side for Rebule. Tangled up with Norfolk, Kentucky. Blind, tremendous pressure. Now open nice time for Dinkins. Quickly met up with Norris in his attacking zone for Dinkins. Kyle Taylor shops him at the bit at the near corner. Two Knights come up with loose puck. Dinkins near point. 8-2 Norfolk, Kentucky. Shot and buried at the near point by Alter. Joe Hammerly with another one. And Norfolk, Kentucky's lead back down to 5. 8-3 for the Norse with 12.54 to go in the third period. Wow, that was a arm-burning blister from the near point for Alter. Face off center ice. Rosell for the Norse. Knights with a goal in each period so far. Picked up neutral zone by Norfolk, Kentucky. They're going up the stream. Shorthander goal by Parker Smith in this third period. Alter brings it from behind their goal line. Batted by Donnelly. Here comes Dinkins on the defensive help. 12 and a half to go in regulation. Eight to three for Northern Kentucky. Looking at another one that is wide from Hughesman. Hooper come up with a loose puck towards the left. Nice sweep by Hooper. This Northern Kentucky team, good size, good physicality on them. <coughs> Matched up quite well with the Alter Knights. No sell around the far corner. Picked up behind Clark's cage. <laughs> Lift him out. Here's Rossell. Open ice near face off circle. Back at you. Eleven forty two to go in the third. Eight to three for Norfolk, Kentucky. Here's a one timer up high from Trey Kincaid in front of the blue line. And we'll have a stoppage of play with 11.37 to go in the third period. 8-3, Norfolk, Kentucky. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, this Saturday afternoon. I'm the home of South Metro Sports on YouTube. Bad around the near corner, Norfolk, Kentucky back on the attack. North will wait by the bend. Clay Nevers trying to sweep it away. No, make that Nicholas Hill that time. Far corner pickup by Northern Kentucky. Here's a shot right at Clark. Bounce back. Jack Augustine on the chase. Going underneath the armpit of a Norse. Near corner. Glavin slides in. Alter 0 for 3 on the power plays. Racing forward all alone. The defender will get behind him. Shot and save Ty Borton. And a whistle by the referee. Borton had a real nice look on it. Hits off the skate of Bora. <coughs> Ten fifty-one to go in the third. Eight to three, Norfolk, Kentucky. Bourne had a nice look, nice shot. Stand on the other side of the circle with Hammerly and Parker Smith facing off. Hill with the screen. Here's a high blast from the near point. Lucas Rabelais towards Bora. Far face-off circle off his chest. Picked up by Taylor of the Norse. Augustine can't keep it in at the far point. Here comes Smith, a two on one, and one just knocked down a two. Great defensive hold by Alter that time with 10, 29 to go in the third. Eight to three for Northern Kentucky here. Battle of Sinde. Norse, a club team representing high school age students that their school does not have a hockey team. That's a few schools around the Cincinnati area at least. Bat it back in front of the blue line. Try to keep it in was Taylor. He's stuffed by his defender. Hooper now towards his near corner. Hooper checked into the bend. Open ice. A little bit of off guard, but Jansen will send it around the near bend again. Halter trails by five, eight to three. Ten oh six to go in the third. Far point keep in by Roselle. Finds an alternate's touch. 
poked away. Dinkins sends it into his attacking zone. It's a battle of four Norse against one Knight. Andrew Tracy looking for the loose puck. Bora has that shot deflected, and he'll bat it towards the Zamboni corner. Tracy sets it up. Augustine. Jansen. And back to Tracy. Roselle. He is blocked by Augustine. Roselle couldn't move forward. 9.27 to go on the third. Northern Kentucky with an 8-3 lead against the Alto Knights here. From South Metro Sports. And a whistle. And I believe that hits off some of the Norse leaning over the bench. So we'll drop it with 9.22 to go in the third. Our second high school game of the day won't be until 7 o'clock with Springboro hosting Gahana Lincoln, a good Capital Hockey Conference battle. Battle of Columbus versus Dayton. And up next, we'll have a junior hockey game. The Evansville Thunderbolts hanging around. Taking on the Cincinnati Thunder next. Parker Smith. Far point keep in. Here's Kincaid into the neutral zone. Northern Kentucky is spaced out three on two. Kincaid, the centerman, sends it wide right of Clark. Picked back up by Northern Kentucky. They have really mastered the puck control against Alter. Norris for at least, it seems like 80% of the time, they've had in their attacking zone against Alter's defense. But you got to give a lot of credit to Alter holding on and staying with the Norse. Now into the neutral zone. Here's Hammerly, a spaced out two on one. Borton knocked off his railings. And the Norse enjoying that. And off the end boards. And the closest ref blows his whistle. 8.35 to go in the third is the Alter Music Program. Back on the drums. Still waiting on the saxophone. But like I said, the music out there adds a nice touch. I think it's the first time that I've been here at South Metro where I've heard uh, instruments, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, after all. Between the points, Prayson going for Grunder. We spuck out the grass of Bora, but Glavin on the defensive assignment. Around the Zamboni corner. Hooper can't quite grasp it in. And knocked out of bounds with 8.16 to go in the third. And Northern Kentucky up 8-3. Both squads with one goal in this third period. Northern Kentucky, three in the first, four in the second. Alter, one in the first, second, and third. <coughs> Amberley takes on Rosell this time. Picked up by the Knights. On the grass with Borton. Donnelly coming in. He can't quite poke it away from Hughesman. Settled down again by Northern Kentucky's Kincaid. Hughesman straight ahead. Hooper's towards his right. Ahead of him is Rosell. He'll take the left wing. Hughesman will. 7.53 to go in the third. 8-3 Northern Kentucky. It's a blast from the near point, curving wide. Glavin had that tally. Glavin comes in, near face off circle, sends it across. Far board pickup, Northern Kentucky. And that pass ripped into a Knight's grasp. Glavin now has to race backwards for the puck against Joe Hammerly. A couple goals for Hammerly in this game. Towards the left, Alter picks it back up, set in towards Bora, and that hits off the backside of Kincaid. Bora skating backwards, falling down, expecting more heat off that shot. Kincaid took most of it, however. Clark sets it up, far corner poke away. And now Alter pushes it into the neutral zone. Kincaid keeps it in for the Norse, and right at Clark. And we'll stop the clock. A 7 one to go in the third. 8-3. Norfolk, Kentucky over Alter here. It's a Metro Sports YouTube page. Face up upcoming towards the right for Justin Clark. Nice zigzag by Alter. Rebele, Dinkins, the 88-8 rally. It's off the underscore of the referee skates. Sometimes that happens. After all, they have to skate too. We'll have the arm up as Alters 
Jack Augustine pushes back in the neutral zone. The referee points towards his left. Can't see him with a player blocking his way, but Alter's going to spend some time in the box. 6.41 to go in the third, and Northern Kentucky up 8-3. to three. The Knights 0-4-3 on the power play, and Northern Kentucky will get their first power play on the game. As some of the uh, some of the Norse rather enjoying the drumming, see the hockey players beating on the boards. One of the Norse looked like he didn't have his gloves on, but that would mean he had three fingers with the uh, white coloration on the gloves. He was drumming along too. Quite neat to see when oppositions have fun here. 6.23 to go in the third, 1.41 to go in this power play for Northern Kentucky. That goes wide of Clark. Covered again by Goldberg and the Norse. Like I mentioned, puck control has definitely been a key ingredient in this success. Bat at home. And Rossell denied by Clark. Looks like Rosell will wait in center ice. That's a pass Clark. 9 to 3 Northern Kentucky power play goal for the Norse. And now recovered again by Northern Kentucky. Great positioning there by Northern Kentucky. They have had great success today. It's Knights. Buck slips in the protective net. We'll drop it with 5.57 going to third. 12 goals between this Cincinnati-Dayton battle. The alternates trailing by six. Under six to play in the third. Great turnout fans here today. Up here in the lobby enjoying the warmth. And downstairs enjoying the beat of the drums. Boa slows it down. <coughs> Hammerly on the chase for loose puck. Off the referee this time. Borton comes up with loose puck, and Goldberg now wishes it away. Hammerly protects the puck against Hooper coming in. Here's a shot. Nice deflection. Bora, a nice rotation in his crease, kicks it over towards his left. Read that quite well for Northern Kentucky. Norse up 9-3, 5.20 to go in regulation. Hooper now far boards. Rossell can't hold on to it. A lot of congestion in Alter's attacking zone. Rossell towards the neutral zone, off an Alter stick. I believe that was Prayson and sent back the away against the Norse. We're back to 5-on-5. Five five. The Norse took 31 seconds to score out of their first power play of the game. And it's the Norse with a 9-3 lead under five to play. Rossell around the far corner against Augustine. In the slot, recovered by Alter. Knights now. Drag on the left wing. Here's Borton against Drew Jansen. Sent back into Northern Kentucky's attacking zone. Pulling off a shot before getting blitzed in his own zone. And Justin Clark comes up with a save with 4.34 to go in the third. 9-3 Northern Kentucky. It's a good hit by Alter, good clean hit. Face off to the left of Clark, and here comes Alter. They'll sweep it into the neutral zone. Ben Hale will. And Alter now pushed defensively again in their own zone. Out of the reach of Hale, the end boards, Bovra, it's icing on Alter. 4.17 to go in the third here. Busy Saturday afternoon for hockey at South Metro Sports. It's a lot of fun to see the Norse bounce around to the beat of the drum. Gotta have some fun, win or lose. These Norse are definitely looking like they're having fun. I think the goalie the backup goalie, Jackson Maddy, might be having the most fun on that bench. 4.08 to go in the third, a six-goal lead, and a huge pile of Knights and Norse on the same end of the boat. That puck might have been ruled dead at the far point. As the Stripes now talk it over, right in front of the blue line. It's in the neutral zone. 
So we'll have a neutral zone face-off. Racing back for it is Northern Kentucky's Lavin. Out of the reach of Cameron Webb. Alter picks it up. Two defensemen. A near boards pass, open ice. Glavin with the easy pickup, uncontested. His shot goes wide to Clark. Back over for Evan Ogilvy. 3.41 to go in the third period. 9 to 3, Northern Kentucky. Loose puck. Slowed down by Webb. Recovered again by Evan Ogilvy. Ogilvy now flips it high over the net. I believe that's Parker Smith in the far corner. A couple nights coming in for a crash. That was Andrew Tracy now back on his skates after that check. Three and a quarter to go in the third. Six goal lead for the Norse at 9-3. Open ice. Here's Webb looking to add one. And it will go past Justin Clark, Cameron Webb with the Norse tally. And it's 10-3 Northern Kentucky with 3.08 to go in the third. Norse now lead by seven here at South Metro Sports in the closing moments of our game today. <coughs> Roselle now takes the face off against Hammerly. Out of the reach of Hammerly. Roselle pokes it forward, goes for Hughesman, who will stutter skate into the near corner with three minutes to go in the third, and the Norse up 10 3. Near point, Goldberg keeps it in. Here comes a check, a slow check from Jack Augustine. No one there in the slot for Northern Kentucky. Rebelay comes up with it. He'll race down. Important will race down on the left wing. Checked off the post behind Bora. Loose puck still going on the slot. Shell Johnston looking for the final push. Jake Goldberg now takes it into his attacking zone. 2.26 to go in the third. Nice defensive stands there by Northern Kentucky. Also a couple unlucky hits off the post for Alter. Bower now sliding out of his crease. Huseman. Now it's a shot by Kincaid and an offside whistle against the Norse. Seven goal lead for the visitors with 2.12 to go in the third. Face off, neutral zone, closest to Alter's bench. Defensively, it's Jansen. Off the far board, slips behind the back of Ogilvy. Dinkins can't quite hold on. Neither can Brown. Dinkins gets it back for the Knights. Two Norse sweeping in. Dinkins goes near faceoff circle. Lots of traffic. Loose puck. Unable to get past Bora that time. Great idea by Alter. However, they had a whole army ship of Norsemen defending around Bora. 135 to go in the third. 10-3 Northern Kentucky. Loose glove. It's Dinkins. He'll have to pick it up. Now his Knights now go chasing the loose puck. It's kept in by Hooper. Alter comes up with it in their own near corner. Jansen keeps his body down the ice. It's Brown. And now recovered again by the Knights with 109 to go in regulation. Loose puck slips out of the neutral zone and recovered by Kyle Taylor, fresh off the bench. He'll try one down low. Clark with a save. Last minute of the third period. After trailing 10-3, Norse back on the offensive attack. Can't quite get the loose puck. And a whistle and holding. Holding the call upon who? Someone's getting a power play out of a holding infraction as Justin Brown goes in the sin bin for the Norse. And two minutes on the clock. Alter 0 for 3 on power plays today with 52.1 seconds to go in the third. Alter looks to chow down a little bit in the seven goal deficit they face. 
Fox will take this face off. They'll take on Joe Hammerley this time. And it comes up to the power play, Alter Knights. Far point, Augustine straight ahead for Hammerley. Rebelay. He'll rotate around the circles, finds Dinkins open, and Bora hits it off the shoulders of the North goalie. Back to Dinkins, however, picks up his own rebound. Augustine between the far points. Goes for Dinkins. He'll try to slide it in. Loose puck pushed down to Prayson. And it looks like another delayed penalty will be called in Northern Kentucky. Clark back to the bench. 20. Make it 19.8 seconds to go in the third. And to close out this third period, looks like Alter might have a five on three. And it might be Taylor, the guilty party this time. As he tries to explain his case to the stripes. And now Alter... Looking at a five on three advantage. We have 19.8 seconds to go in the third. Officially 128 to go in the five on three. As Parker Smith leans in, Glavin behind him. Looks like Glavin's stick is being checked out by the referee. Maybe some loose tape, maybe some tape sticking out. And now it's back in place. We're good to play. Smith will take on Hammerly for this face off. <laughs> Here's Rebele near point. Goes far face off circle. Up top over a loose puck swept away. Now for Dinkins near face off circle. Goes up top and scores. Dinkins hits the far crest of the net. And a five on three power play goal for Dinkins and the Alter Knights. Cuts the lead down to six. Ten to four. Norfolk, Kentucky Norris with 5.6 seconds to go on the third. And still a five on four power play for the Knights. I think that power play, the five on three, maybe lasted close to 15 to 20 seconds. Clocks won't be reset. Five seconds left. Here's Parker Smith. Still five on four looking for the shorthander. And that will do it. Norfolk, Kentucky takes down Alter 10-4 tonight here at South Metro Sports. The loss drops Alter to 19-7, and, and Norfolk, Kentucky will pick up their 30th win on the season, improving to 30-12 and 12 on the year. Norfolk, Kentucky with a barrage of goals against Justin Clark and the Alter Knights. And Norfolk, Kentucky takes it 10-4 in our first of two games here on YouTube. Our second high school game will be Springboro. They'll be facing off against Gahana Lincoln later tonight. And up next, we'll have the junior hockey team. This won't be on YouTube. You can watch it on Hockey TV for the Thunder and also listen to it on GCSN. As it will be, the Cincinnati Thunder taking on the Evansville Thunderbolts here from South Metro Sports. Until 7 o'clock tonight, this is Lee W. Mallon signing off. Thanks for watching here on the official YouTube page of South Metro Sports. Nova Kentucky wins 10-4.